Hi everybody, my name is Scott Colling. I'm the Managing Director of Barbell Computing. I'm here just to create a short video for you to talk about backing up your data. Uh, it's something which is the most important insurance policy in the world for you if you're an IT user. Having your data on your device is obviously incredibly convenient. You're going to use it to store your files, your information, your working documents, but also your photos, your videos, things that are important to you. Just so much data is now stored on people's devices. And the last thing anybody wants to do is lose it. There's some really easy ways to get that data nice and secure and backed up in an easy way. And today I'm going to try and show you how to do that. Uh, this video is aimed at Windows 10 and Windows 11 users. So uh, obviously those of you who are on Windows 7 and Windows 8, uh, first thing is um, neither of those are supported anymore. So there's no security vulnerabilities being patched. Uh, if you are on Windows 7 or Windows 8, uh, you need to move away from it, upgrade to Windows 10 or Windows 11. Uh, got any questions on that? Please ping me, I can help you. Um, either to look at an upgrade or some other way of moving away from Windows 7 or Windows 8. Uh, and those of you with a Mac, unfortunately this video isn't for you, but um, uh, if you do want me to create a video for a Mac, uh, let me know. Um, put some comments in the below, give me some of your opinion. Um, if you want a Mac video, I'll make it. Or if you want a video on something else, uh, let me know and I can make it. But today I'm going to quickly share my desktop with you and show you how to do some really simple backup procedures um, using Microsoft OneDrive. Um, so let's go over to there. So you can see here, this is just my normal desktop. Um, this is the machine which I use for my business. There's not a huge amount of data on here. Um, nice clean backdrop, uh, unlike my personal desktop, which is really messy. But um, well, the one thing that I'm going to show you today is down in this little corner here, which is called OneDrive. All of you will have a Microsoft account. You need one to use Windows 10 or Windows 11, and OneDrive comes with your Microsoft account. Um, it will be here. It might be in your system tray under here. Uh, my one uh, isn't. It's here, so it's ready to use, uh, but ultimately either location. Um, open it up, click the settings button, and show the settings. This will then take you into the settings for the device and the one you want there is sync and backup and you're going to click the manage backup button. What it's then going to do is going to show you your documents folder, your pictures folder, your desktop, your music and your videos. Uh, I don't uh, synchronize these using OneDrive um, but actually uh, you can see uh, down here two and a half gigabytes of my OneDrive storage is used of the five gigs. So you can see I do use it. I am an active user on here, um, but actually I don't store much information in here. I use a different backup method for this uh, uh, device. I won't go into that. It's a little bit technical, but ultimately for most of you at home users or simple business needs users who don't have complicated networks, just have a single device. Um, this is going to be perfect for you. Simply turning these on will start backing up the documents here. Um, obviously, if you've got a lot of data, you may need to uh, leave it connected to the internet for a little while for the backup to complete. It will upload everything, um, but simply turn these on and it will start backing up your data. Now, the main thing with that is make sure your data is in those folders. Um, the last thing you want is for your data to be somewhere else. Um, it will synchronize your desktop, your documents, your pictures, your music, uh, and your videos. Uh, as always, when doing a demo, I don't know quite why it's not responding to me, but uh, anything that's stored in those, you can tick it on. Again, just go into your settings, click Manage Backup, and turn these on, and that will start backing them up for you. It's really important that you do that. That way you won't lose your data. Anyway, hopefully this has been useful. Short video, something quick. Uh, if there's something you want a video on that you have a question about, uh, more than happy to produce a few different videos. Uh, I'm here ready and willing. Uh, I'll pop my details back up on the screen again.